Good evening and thanks for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kadiba Devine. Right now, the I-Team is getting answers after reporting Arizona's Corrections Department is not complying with court-ordered changes to prison health care. The I-Team's Erica Stapleton has been reporting on Arizona's prison system for months. She sat down with prison director Ryan Thornell to talk about the areas where the Corrections Department needs to do a better job, including mental health. That's right, guys, and I do want to warn our viewers that some of those mental health issues include suicides in prison. State Prison Director Ryan Thornell sat down with me just a few days after he had to face a federal judge, where he had to explain why the progress they've made with health care is still not enough. At least seven prison suicides in the past 120 days. Any suicide is terrible tragedy. The stretch of suicides we've had is certainly unprecedented, and I hate to see any single loss of life. The I-Team exposing one of those losses in January. Joshua Fox, who hung himself in his cell right before Christmas, less than two days after he arrived at the prison in Phoenix. Records from the medical examiner show his cellmate was inside the cell, but sleeping when it happened. Josh's mother, Crystal, now fighting at the legislature for better care when it comes to people with serious mental illnesses, like her son had. The whole mental health system failed me. Do you think the department should be responsible if someone takes their own life in prison? I think that the department is responsible for that, and, and there's a whole host of different ways that we're responsible, and we conduct a very thorough investigation in every one of those. Failures in mental health care, one of the many areas where the department is falling short, according to a years-long lawsuit over inadequate health care in Arizona prisons. Arizona's Department of Corrections, Rehabilitation and Reentry is currently under a federal court order to make more than 180 changes. But a court filing last week indicated the department was only complying with five of them. The progress is there. So to say that it's a failure or progress is lacking, um, I think is outdated information. Prison Director Ryan Thornell defending improvements during his first year on the job, like changes to maximum custody and restrictive housing. We really are working hard to move the agency from some of the struggles that started 10, 11, 12 years ago. But admits there's a lot more to do. Corrections historically has been about punishment, control, and really this lockdown sort of attitude. That doesn't work. It doesn't work to achieve the outcomes we want. One of the biggest issues is staffing. And the health care hiring needs to come from the corrections department's contracted provider, NAFCARE. Are they the right partnership right now for the department? Well, when I say we, I mean NAFCARE. They're, they're with us in this. They are our partner. The department started withholding contract money from NAFCARE, $10 million so far, to try and get NAFCARE to fulfill the contract and bring in enough qualified staff. In a statement, NAFCARE CEO Brad McLean said in part, quote, The court has not been fully informed of our progress. The statement added NAFCARE has increased staff since taking over the job less than two years ago and continues to hire more people. If we're going to expect something different from our partners, we need to hold them accountable to that. Um, but at the same time, we have to support them to get there. And Erica, this has been going on for years now. Is there any end in sight? Yeah, Karibe, Director Thornell said he doesn't have a timeline right now on when the department will be fully compliant with the court's orders, but says they are working every day to make those changes. That wasn't a quick uh, interview you had, Erica. What else did he say is changing? Well, I do have a big update on our investigation into prison heat, where Director Thornell finally addresses prison cells hitting more than 100 degrees last summer and how the women's prison is planning for upgrades. I'll have that report tonight on 12 News at 10. All right, Erica, we'll see you then. And uh, we do want to mention that this report mentioned suicides. If you find yourself needing someone to talk to, you can call the U.S. Suicide Prevention Hotline. Just dial 988 on your phone to reach a real person 24 hours a day.